Here's a nice young man. It's open season, folks. Uh, <laughs> Richie Pryor, without a doubt, is one of the most inventive, original, and when he is cooking, I don't think there's anybody around who can be funnier than he is. He has a motion picture call that they filmed of when Richard was in, in concert, I think, in Long Beach, mm -hmm. and they filmed one of his concerts, and it's playing in motion picture uh, theaters around the country, and the critics have, have raved about it. Uh, it's always great to have him here. We'll find out what we're going to talk about. Would you welcome Richard Pryor? <laughs> White guys don't do that well, do they? I don't get know. On down, get on down, get on down. No, they don't. I, don't. <laughs> I had a commercial once. I was doing a commercial, and I was supposed to play a black cat coming in. And, I, and I, I'm trying to be... A black cat? This is a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to walk in, and I, they said, no, 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 that's so dumb. And I didn't know what to do. Uh, you should have called uh, Black How to Act. <laughs> The Black How to Act School? Yes. Are there courses? <laughs> are there courses if you want to really be with it and get on down on the How to Act Black and be hip? And... Uh, yes, there are. There's uh, one in Mississippi. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> universities in Mississippi. Yeah. yeah. One in Hungary. How you been? I've been good, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, man. I was watching you with this man, and the, is it's that devastating. Something else? Isn't is it? that something? You play tennis, I know. I play at it. Yeah. Well, so do I. Really. I, I don't really play tennis good. I, I built a tennis court in my home. Yeah. And I played uh, about uh, four months, and I got tired of being beat, and I quit playing. And now I, I watch the grass and the leaves on the court. And <laughs> I don't go out there at all because it's just embarrassing to stand across. And kids 15 whoop you to death. <laughs> and they can get everything. I, I yeah. mean, when they're young, they can just get anything. You can hear them say, I got it now. And they get over and get it. <laughs> you talking about... <laughs> <laughs> and the kid's just going... Ping, ping, and a lot ping. of people like uh, actors and people that play good, like you have a reputation of being a good player, and Bill Cosby, and people like that. But you guys be so serious. I you tried. Know. You know, I started out that way, and that's wrong. You know what the wrong with, with people who are, quotes, I hate that word, celebrities, but you know what happens? No. We want to be able to play tennis as well as we do what we do. Yes. You know, celebrities think, hey, I'm a big movie star. I should go on the court and be able to play uh -huh. as well as I do my, and you can't. Yeah. And so the ego gets in the way. I have people come over and they talk bad about me. I mean, my friends get to say, you know, you, television can't help you now, Jack. <laughs> 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 Don't give me that big concert. <laughs> Your money ain't gonna help you, man. Sure. Funny this backhand, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played a kid, mentioned kids. I played some young uh, friend of my son's a, a couple of months ago, and he, he was 16. Uh -huh. And I'm saying, and you're trying to, like it's not bothering you. Yes. And you want to go right into cardiac arrest. And the, <laughs> the kid doesn't have one drop of perspiration no, on his head. Man. I was in Europe one time. I, I'm, I was on a vacation. I was in Nice, and I played. I stayed at this old hotel, a bunch of old people, and this one dude had all the fine women with him. Old man, about 80. And he had all these fine women. I was trying to catch, so I asked him to play tennis with him. I figured I'd get in. Sure. And uh, they all came out to watch and said, Don't hurt him. <laughs> you know, I said, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> about pretty soon after a while, he was whipping me so bad, I started lying. Talking about, that was out! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happened. He left me on the court talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, they the old guys, you see, what they have yeah. is the, the, the ears, and yeah. they do all those little dink shots and the little yes. slices. I mean, they hurt you. And you think, and you way back waiting for the serve, you can't go. <laughs> and you try to, and your legs go, I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so you gave up the tennis and you're not going to... No, I, I'll play sometime, I guess. I mean, yeah. I, Bill, when we did the movie California Sweet, yeah, Bill was, was so scene. good. And I realized I had such, you know, such hard work. Bill plays uh, every day and it yeah. cost him $42 million to get them lessons. And I figured, man, I can't afford to learn how to play this good to get whipped. Yeah. <laughs> what else have you been up to since I saw you? I've been learning how to relax, I guess, you know. That's all. Is I there a been... school for that, too? Yeah, yeah. I've been in love and I've been relaxing, just trying to enjoy. This is something I've never done in my life, you know.
I was relaxed. I've been in show business 20 years, and and I never, I've always worked to, you know, buy something or do something, and then finally you get to relax, and I don't know how to do it. Does it drive you crazy? Oh, man, I can't lay on the beach. My lady can lay on the beach mm -hmm. and just close her eyes, and I'm always afraid somebody's going to tip up on you and bust your head open, you know? <laughs> Well, you see, that, that's, you can't relax that way. I that's, can't lay out on the beach like or something. I be mean, looking, you know. <laughs> some, some dude's going to give you a shot. Huh? You got to, you, you can't. How can you relax if you think some dude's going to bust you? I don't know. All right, I got to do a commercial. Then we're going to come back and relax some more. <laughs> we'll be back next time. Talking with Rick Fryer. You say you've been in show business 20 some years. 20. 20. When, you're, when you wanted to go into it, a lot of parents say, oh my God, don't go into that. It's not secure. Get a nice job, you know, make tables or upholster furniture or something so you have something to fall back on. It's true. Uh, I went in the show business. Uh, my family always were in entertainers uh, in one sense or another. And I went in the show business. You won't believe how I got in the show business. I might. If I, can I show you? Sure. I walked into a club. I, I would work all my life, and I got tired. I decided one day I'm never going to work again. What were you doing? I was working at the packing house. That's no fun. No, and I've always had, like, jobs like And one day I just said, there's something in the world. I don't know what it is. It's a murder somebody or stick up or something. I'm not going to work. I just, you know, and I said, well, I'm too scared to go to jail. Right. So, therefore, I got to find something to do. I said, singing. That's good. Singing. Yes. I said I was reading a comic book. I said, singing. Yes. And uh, I, wa I walked into a club. It's called Harold's Club. I told the owner I could play piano. I cannot play piano. <laughs> the man said, uh, yeah, you got a job. <laughs> he said, you come back Friday. He said, there's a band. So you can sing pretty good, and I'll let you be with the band. So I started out singing. Right. You know that. Yeah, I started out singing, and then the audience said, you should do jokes. <laughs> Funny, my audience says you should sing. When I come out here sometime. How much did you get? You remember? My first pay, I got thirty-five dollars. That was my first pay. I got a week, the first not a dollar. Night. Not a night. No, not a night. No, that was a week. I got the first dollar I made. My grandmother had saved it because when I made money, I always took money home to her, right? And she saved this dollar, and I got it. She gave it to me when she left, and it was uh, May uh, the seventh. It was nineteen fifty-nine. That was the first the week. Yeah. Hey, that's great. Yeah. So I. So then you start telling jokes. Yes, I start doing some. Oh boy. I did some jokes. Ooh. <laughs> I used to get the blue book. You know that jokes with all the jokes in it? They had that and, and they, they had, had the, they... Fun, the fun master gag file. Do you remember that? You could buy through comedy uh, no, no. places. And it was, it was... Do you remember, like, a lot of people don't remember burlesque shows and stuff. Sure. Where they used to have strippers and stuff like that. There was all... You, you ever had a joke you've been trying to tell for years and nobody will laugh? Right. But you've heard it and you know it's funny, but you can't tell it. There was one joke where this guy told it at a burlesque show, and I've never been able to make anybody laugh, but it just was great the way he did it. He Can you was, tell it here? He was in, yeah, he was in a policeman's uniform, right? And the, he was saying, um, hold up that, hold up that funeral and let the beer truck go by. Oh, the beer truck. <laughs> and uh, that was funny. <laughs> well, and that's, that's one of the reasons burlesque died. There was a joke, a couple, couple of jokes like that. The beer truck, because yeah, it play on the words. Yeah, but I was rolling in the aisle. Yeah. Well, I thought that was the funniest thing. I yeah. kept trying to tell people, go. Never got a laugh. What? what you talking about? There was a joke around for years that I used to tell every day when we used to do a daytime show. <laughs> and it never got a laugh. And I'll tell you the joke. Okay. Yeah, it's a scene. Okay. Hottest day, equatorial Africa, right on the equator. It's about 120 degrees. Birds won't even chirp. You know, snakes are just lying there. It is so oppressive and hot and humid, you cannot believe it. There's not a sound, not an insect. There's a scene in this swamp. It's fetid, slimy. Steam is coming off of the swamp. You see these two hippopotami standing in the water about up to here. And one of them turns to the other and says, I just can't get it through my head that it's Thursday. <laughs> and make way for the beer truck. Uh, I love that joke and I kept telling it. And it has met with the same response every time I've told it. And I'm going to not give up on that joke. I know there's something in there somewhere. Yeah. You know what? Some Maybe I don't do the setup right, but not... One time you was on the show and you were talking about something. I, I remember you said you used to have a dream every night. That yeah. a white line coming was at coming at coming you. At me. And I knew, and I wanted to tell you, I said, it was your destiny. That was it. Yeah. 
Just forever going down? No, it was coming at you, and you was trying to get away from it. Yeah, I had that dream as a line. kid. A straight oh. line. A straight line coming at me forever. Yes. You ever have dreams of nightmares as a kid? Yeah, I used to have nightmares uh, recently. I used to have nightmares I'd be asleep, and people would take me in another room and operate on my brain. <laughs> and then put, put me back in the other room when I wake up. And one night in New York, I went to sleep, and I had the dream, and I woke up and went to the door, and a nurse was leaving the other apartment. And I went, you. <laughs> How's Jennifer? Jennifer's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, uh, being in love, see, it's really nice at first, right? And then you start growing in it. Yeah. And then it gets really hard. I, I, I've been off for about three months. I've never been off this long in my life. And I'm going out of my mind. You know, you can work when you want to. And I just said, I ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to lay around the house and garden. Mm -hmm. I garden one day. <laughs> and then I bought some paints. Well a then I bought one paints. Day, yeah. I bought paints. I bought about three thousand dollars worth of paints. I said I'm gonna paint. I painted one picture, and then I got mad and started smearing paint all over the place. You, you know, all over the canvas. And Jim said, "What's the matter?" I said, "I can't paint." <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with it. I just can't paint. And I would paint pictures, and somebody would call. I said, "What's the number?" <laughs> Everybody's going to go in. Everybody wants to take up oil painting. They say that's the greatest relaxing thing it's in the world. It's not relaxing. For me. I don't know what it is to relax. See, I like to sleep. To it's me, relaxing. See, that to me is very nice to lay in the bed four or five weeks. <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? Not do anything. Just don't wash. And just people come in the house and go, hey, hey. <laughs> You're relaxing. My God, he's relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to go back to work soon? Go uh, yeah, I'm doing a movie. I started a movie in September. It's yeah. called Family Dream. And uh, Cecily Tyson and, and myself will be uh, in it. I'm producing. And hey. uh, I helped write the script with uh, Roger Simon and uh, a name that I can't remember now. now uh, Lonnie Elder. Yes. Yeah. He's writing it now. And, uh, and Mike Glick is a co producer. And we, we start doing it in September. And it should be out in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Theoretical know. question. Yes. You had to look. 50 years ahead. Yes. Assuming you're around. Yes. What would you like to be doing? 50 years from now, I'd like to be a $500 a day John. <laughs> okay. I can't argue with that at all. You might see the people at home. What does he mean, Harry? What's that? Uh, at least. <laughs> at least that, yeah. Well, with inflation no, and everything. 50 years, and that's hard to... I yeah, just want to be healthy, you know? And I will have fun. It's one of those like silly that. questions they ask people, and you say, what do you mean what I want to be? I want to be around. What do you want to do? Just be living. Yeah, 50 years. But I don't want to just... I don't want to be sick, you know, where people take advantage of you. Yeah. What do you mean you want to go to the bathroom? Shut up and wait. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> if you go, I'll beat you with this bedpan, you hear me? <laughs> I was in the hospital, man. They treat old people tough in the hospital. Man. Yeah. That's the last place for old people to go to get well is the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> they, a lot of them don't have much patience, huh? Go away. Go away. Boy, how true that is. You ever spend any time at all? It's no fun. No, it's no fun at all because they wake you up anytime they want to. You'd be, as soon as you doze up, hey, let's get some blood. What do you say? <laughs> uh, uh. And they got some freaks in the hospital, too. <laughs> that didn't hurt. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> Time to take your sleeping pill right after they waken you up. Here's yeah. your sleeping pill. Oh, yeah. them pills, though. They give you some medicine, Jack. They can <laughs> give you some medicine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> they can give you some medicine. You be telling me, hey. When they don't want to bother with you, so you don't keep calling them. I suppose yeah, that's when they the give you the little... old people, the old people like to walk the halls and drop dead and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's messy. That's messy in the hospital. Oh, people. <laughs> <laughs> and they ring the bell. Dong, dong. Dong, dong. <clears throat> One more gone. Okay. We'll be out. We'll be out. We'll be out in a moment. Yes. Okay. Right after this. <laughs>